Hello everyone. So, my name is Rusty Joshi and today we three, Hethal Patrick, Rajeshwari Barana and me are presenting The Great Gatsby. So, let's start. The Great Gatsby novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald. So, uh, three participation and uh, three presenter also, Rusty Joshi, Rajeshwari Barana and Hethal Patrick. So, first slide is based on points to ponder. Characteristics of 20th century about author, key facts about novel, plot overview, uh, character chart, thematical study of novel, uh, symbolism in novel, and some lines from the original text, other movies based on the same concept, and modernism versus realism, psychoanalytical study of J. Gatsby, who is a protagonist, articles based on this novel, and work citation. So, characteristics of 20th century. There was no really good true war books during the entire four years of the war. The only true writing that came through during the war was in poetry. One reason for this is that poets are not arrested as quickly as prose writers. So, this quotation is by Ernest Hemingway, uh, who is the American author. And uh, in Men at War, he wrote this quotation. Uh, in this quotation, he says that poetry and uh, prose writer, they both are influ uh, influenced or we can say inspired from the war effects. And the 20th century was like no time period before it. Einstein, Darwin, Freud and Marx were just say, uh, some of the thinkers who profoundly changed the Western culture. So here are some names like Einstein, uh, Darwin and Freud. They are uh, some major uh, writers of the 20th century. These changes took distinct uh, shape in the literature of 20th century. So uh, after the Great World War, uh, which took place between 1914 to 1918, shook the very uh, foundation of the Western world, causing a uh, socially un uh, unhappy and the left immediate and lasting impression on every aspect of society. So the Great War between the First World War, 1914 and 1918, has uh, many, uh, I, I want to say like uh, many uh, great influence on uh, uh, major writers like Darwin and Marx. Uh, the novel of the city. Uh, in this city, uh, I mentioned that Europe and America mainly focused in this point. The 20th century is distinguished as the literature a century of urbanism or as more people moved to city in Europe and America, as I mentioned. A novelist used urban environments as a backdrop for the stories they told. So they used urbanism like... Uh, they all used like a, a, a theme of the uh, parties and all kind of modernism in their works. Wolf and London, Theodore uh, Dresden and Chicago, Paul Oster and New York, Michael Ondejo and Torrent. These are some major writers of uh, uh, that century, 20th century. Uh, and uh, this point is based on writing from the margins. And... Uh, uh, here, uh, this is the uh, powerful literary movements, uh, which is based on American themes and American dreams. So, this is that point. So, uh, uh, about author, uh, nationality, uh, this is the author's picture, and his nationality is, uh, sorry, was American. He was American poet or author. Uh, he was a no, uh, he write genres like novels, short stories, and fiction. Uh, majorly, uh, he write fiction. And Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald was born on September, and he was uh, named after his ancestor, Francis Scott Key, the writer of the Star Spangled Banner. Uh, his ancestor was also a uh, writer, and uh, uh, Fitzgerald was raised in. Paul, uh, Minnesota and 
uh, he was a, a, a intelligently he was intelligent child and he was poorly in school and was sent to a new jersey so he his uh, schooling was in boarding school he was in boarding school in new jersey uh, academic troubles and apathy uh, plagued him throughout his, his time at college and he never graduated or we can say he goes to college but not completed his degree and he was uh, never graduated uh, instead in uh, enlisted in the army in 1970 as a world war uh, uh, neared its end and uh, he was an uh, army man in uh, world war first and he was also a part of army so we can say he was influenced from world war and he showed the result of that world war so uh, so he write most of the war, uh, war situation and what kind of situation uh, posed by that war uh, Fitzgerald became a second lieutenant and was stationed at camp he was a lieutenant also with the publication of this side of paradise in 1920 Fitzgerald became a literary sensation so after world war end he became the literary author and writer and he write this side of paradise and uh, because of this uh, work he became the famous and literary sensation of that age earning enough money and fame to convince Zelda to marry him Zelda was uh, his love of life and he wants to marry him so he wants to marry her and uh, uh, because he earning uh, much money to marry her so uh, Zelda convinced to marry him many of these events from Fitzgerald early life appear in this his famous novel The Great Gatsby so this is the novel and Fitzgerald's uh, life and his we can say this book is also autobiographical uh, works and uh, we can include this work as autobiographical work because uh, in this uh, book there are so many events which is influenced by his own life and uh, like uh, education at Levy Liga School and Nick's case here who moves to New York after the war and this is also mentioning that one famous uh, character of character of Nick which is also a move to New York after World War so this we can say the Nick's character is based on uh, author's own character Fitzgerald also shares some characteristics with the great Gatsby a titular character Jay Gatsby a sensi uh, sensitive young man who idolizes wealth and luxury and uh, this purple theme we choose for our presentation is also symbolized as a luxury and purple color is also symbolized as a richness and luxury and uh, Jay Gatsby our titular character or we can say uh, our protagonist is also a luxurious uh, wealthy man he was fall in love with a beautiful young woman while stationed at the military camp in the south and so whenever i am going to describe the plot of this story then i will tell you that what is the love anger and all kind of things so let's move on Fitzgerald was the most, most famous chronicler of 1920s American and era that he de debuted the jazz age. So the jazz age is, uh, or we can say the jazz age is um, coined by this author and he gave the jazz age as the uh, term. And the Great Gatsby is one of the greatest literary documents of this period in which the American economic showed bringing unpredictable uh, levels of prosperity to the nation. So, uh, the JSS is, is also a um, very famous term in America. Uh, after the great guest we brought him, literary celebrity Fitzgerald fell into a wild recklessness, lifestyle of parties and decadence. So, uh, when this uh, the great gets to be published after uh, uh, Fitzgerald was a very famous author and he gave uh, he have some money and fame and land and after that he 
his lifestyle was changed he would be he became the recklessness and also he spent all his money in parties and some kind of uh, activities like that and uh, because of that zelda suffered a nervous breakdown and pesgerard battled alcoholism, uh, alcoholism uh, while hampered his writing and because of this kind of behavior of pesgerard uh, zelda became like uh, he got uh, she got the breakdown and she is uh, uh, depart from this uh, pesgerard in 1937 he left the hollywood to write a screen plays and in 1940 while working on his novel the love of the last tycoon died of a heart attack at the age of 44 uh, he was uh, died in 1940 and while he was uh, he was in that uh, uh, condition of uh, when he was writing this work the love of the last tycoon he died because of heart attack in uh, at age of 44 so uh, these are some key facts full title the great gatsby author f scott fitzgerald a type of the work a novel language english genre tragedy uh, tragedy realism modernism social satire time and place written 1923 to 1924 uh, american and france Uh, this is the uh, setting when uh, uh, se- uh, this is the setting of writer and date of the first publication was 1925 and publisher was charles scribner's show uh, this, uh, he was the publisher of this book and this is the key facts about novel a uh, setting time of summer 1922 setting place is long island in new york city this both are the setting of this novel narrator was nick carrey carrey not only narrator narrates the story but implies that he is the book's author uh, uh, whenever um, this uh, in this uh, sorry based on this novel is one of one movie and in that movie you can see that the narrator was also a writer or author of that particular uh, scene or particular book Uh, in that uh, novel also mentioned that the he was the author of the book and he read this narrative uh, he narrated the whole story and write this whole story in his own words and in the, uh, whenever he was a uh, uh, he was in psychiatric uh, condition and he was uh, like um, he was in meditation and all this kind of thing and when he was at uh, doctor uh, medical and uh, that time he narrates whole story uh, in front of doctor and uh, doctor suggest him that you should write the story of uh, J gets me and because of that suggestion he read the whole story or we can say that he was the author of book also protagonist was gets me and or uh, or nick we can say a uh, motif of this story is the connection between the events and weather the connection between uh, geographical location and social values images of that extravagance part is the quest for wealth or motif of this novel is based on american dreams or falsify the american dreams and okay so plot overview so uh, in the first scene uh, we introduced by our first character nick and he comes to new york uh, his cousin daisy lives there and he comes from the uh, after world war he came to new york and the second thing came and tom is cheating on daisy with uh, marian wilson or uh, tom or uh, we can say tom is uh, famous or we can say uh, tom is a uh, husband of daisy and daisy is a uh, uh, cousin of uh, uh, nick and uh, he was cheating uh, tom is cheating on daisy and his uh, marital affair extramarital affair is uh, with uh martel and nick's mysterious neighbor gets me throws epic party her next scene is uh, based on j gets me and uh, no one was uh, no one uh, in that party knowing the j gets me and also his uh, who is j gets me uh, everyone was there but no one is uh, known uh, to him 
and uh, nick's uh, or uh, nick's was a uh, nick was a uh, uh, neighbor of j gatsby and this is the mansion of j gatsby j gatsby uh, nick to get to daisy and after that uh, when j gatsby and nick both had uh, met him for first time then uh, um, one character is there and they are uh, meeting in the hall and there are some uh, major events happened in that party and also j gets me asked uh, nick to say that uh, daisy you should uh, uh, ask daisy to come at your tea uh, come at your place and we have some tea together and after that uh, nick says okay i will call uh, daisy and then uh, they go uh, together uh, they uh, drink a tea at uh, nick's place and daisy and gets we begin an affair uh, or we can say or uh, daisy and gets we has a past and they were uh, very uh, in affair with each other and some kind of mysterious thing happened because of that daisy uh, married mary to tom and uh, tom is very rich person in this time uh, tom and gets me have a showdown over daisy and this bo- uh, this man tom and gets me they fight for daisy uh, driving gets me's car uh, and after this fighting uh, one scene is very f- uh, uh, very important scene happened that uh, this is the car of or the, this car is also symbolized as the uh, very famous uh, symbol of this novel a uh, yellow car and driving gets me's car daisy runs over martel martel's husband george thinks gets me did it and uh, when this uh, scene happened uh, everyone thinks that gets me was driving the car but not uh, gets me was not driving the car uh, who is driving the car daisy daisy was driving the car and he accidentally uh, he um, uh, uh, daisy was uh, driving the car and he uh, she uh, uh, hit the martel martel was a uh, 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 martel was the lover of tom and after that uh, uh, george who is the martel's husband and uh, he thinks that gets me did this and gets me was driving the car o- all things that Des- gets me was driving the car and in the end uh martel uh, martel's husband george uh, uh, hitted uh, uh, sorry he murdered the gatsby and uh, these are the characters of uh, this is the character uh, character chart so first character is uh, j gatsby and uh, i i want to put it some picture of j gatsby uh, so uh, uh, these are two parts between the uh, uh, circumstances and personality so every character has a circumstances and personality so gets me circumstances is like new money well the obsession with daisy has mentioned on a western uh, 14 uh, world wars first throws crazy parties originally james gets from a poor north decord family so in this uh, way we can see the gatsby was not a wealthy person in past but he became the new money wealthy or we can say he became the uh, very famous in recently time not in past he was a poor uh, he was from poor family and his original name was james gates and he he has obsession with daisy because he was in uh, madly in love with daisy so he he has a mansion in a west end and he was also a fighter in uh, world war first and where to uh, sorry when nick was also in uh, that camp in uh, world war first personality resourceful restlessness delusional dreamer innocent and mysterious uh, we all know that he was a very mysterious person in this whole novel um, so uh, after that uh, gets me we have second protagonist or we can say a um, second major character is the uh, circumstances narrator new money family small house days is cousin went to yell with tom crush on jordan gets his neighbor plus friend so uh, in this way we can say that uh, he was also 
from a wealthy family but in new york he has a small house and he was also used to write some uh, books in his uh, days and also he is daisy's cousin and uh, he had a crush on jordan jordan is also a friend of daisy personality observer high standard dazzled by wealth lifestyle of neighbors judgmental self deprecative and honest mostly he was a honest person and jordan so jordan i said earlier that jordan is uh, daisy's friend and also he has an affair with nick jordan circumstances professional golfer unmarried wealthy and friend of daisy and tom both husband wife friends and his uh, sorry her personality is uh, cynical uh, incredible dishonest glamorous sexual insult and hates careless and uh, careless uh, person uh, or we can say uh, she is a very careless person she has a sexual affair and also she is very pridey woman in movie you can say uh, you can see that also he he sorry she is a very pridey woman and also wealthy so that's why uh, we can say that he she was very pridey and friend of daisy and tom uh daisy's character is very interesting character tom's wife gets with lover all the money wealth uh, one daughter and unhappy marriage or we can say he uh, sorry she was married to tom because of his money and uh, um, when in the story we can see that when gatsby was in war uh, she was alone at home and uh, then she got a letter from gatsby and after that she uh, uh, she got confusion that, that uh, what to do uh, she don't want to marry tom uh, and uh, day after tomorrow her marriage was there and uh, a day before tomorrow before that uh, she got the letter from gatsby and in the letter from uh, in the last uh, scene of the novel we see that uh, what is the uh, what is the conversation in that uh, letter uh, uh, or uh, or we can say daisy's character is like also a mysterious character like uh, uh, gets his character and uh, he was uh, uh, very uh, we can say he was very dull, she was very dull person in this whole novel she was she was having affair with gatsby and also uh, unhappy married life of uh, daisy and tom so because of all this kind of uh, confusion she was having a breakdown throughout the movie or throughout the novel uh, here are some ma uh, minor character characters like george who is Ma uh, martha's uh, husband Uh, and uh, he killed the uh, gatsby uh, martel's husband mechanic uh, mechanic working class poor lives in valley of ashes kills gatsby uh, as i mentioned earlier and his personality is uh, submissive uh, beaten down faithful and good uh, god fearing after that martel's character uh, sometimes is uh, like tom's mistress George Wilson's wife in her mid 30s not beautiful lives in valleys of uh, valleys of ashes lower class in abusive relationship and social aspirants uh, as i mentioned earlier that uh, martha uh, martel was uh, uh, he was a lover of tom and let's see the tom's character david's husband martel's abusive lover and yell footballer star fifty uh, Fiddly, a richer old money owns mansion on uh, East Egg. There is a good uh, place like East Egg and West Egg, and his personality dominant, unfaithful, aggressive, superficial, and uh, arrogant, hulking, and organ organ set. He was very arrogant person, and also uh, as in this. Uh, 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 this is written like a martel's abusive lover he was very abusive uh, he was also abused daisy and martel both the character and mayor uh, May wolf sheriff so uh, he was a minor character of this novel a friend of gatsby business connection jewish shady character 
hotspot in uh, nice uh, nyc matlab new york a city and city under world and fixed world uh, series his personality mysterious reveals thing about other characters kind of gay uh, sorry kind of guy who wears the human morals as a cuffs or we can say he was very uh, we can say he was a dull character but he was a very important character in this novel he shows the history of uh, gatsby's uh, wealthy or richness and money's uh, he uh, he was a gangster also or uh, he was a underworld don we can say so timid uh, so now i would like to call rajeshwari bar to for the discussion in this part of presentation i would uh, i am go through the thematic study and uh, symbol that is uh, used in this novel american dream the gate gets be leads itself the many uh, many dreams in the novel but the american dream is the major theme of this novel and uh, writer himself criticize on american dream and uh, uh, through this uh, novel he wants to tell about american dream the american dream was originally about discovery individualism and the pursuit of happiness in 1920s this is the original and uh, original message of american dream but uh, uh, it is easy uh, easy money and relax social values have corrupted this dream this is the very uh, hind side of this american dream old money and new money novel symbol novel symbolic geography uh, represent this uh, thing uh, in the novel we can see the two part uh, west egg and east egg that we can see uh, east egg is for old money people that uh, they are from uh, very elite class people from their uh, uh, from their uh, life and uh, they get money from their father and forefather and in west egg we can see they are newly rich people after the first world war the hollowness of the upper class people fitzgerald portrays the newly rich as being vulgar and uh, and uh, la uh, lacking in social graces and taste and in contrast uh, he he portrayed the old aristocracy people in the uh, grass tasteful subtlety and elegance epitomized by the uh, uh, he is uh, one of the character of Uh, this novel tasteful home and flowing white dresses of daisy and jordan they are also, also the character and uh, but uh, the hollowness of the upper class people he tried to mention what the old aristocracy uh, people have some problem with the new rich person uh, they they pretend they are uh, very careless and uh, uh, they don't care for other people but uh, in we can see the tom and uh, his wife daisy at the end of the novel they are not uh, stay for the uh, funeral of uh, jay gatsby but uh, in whole novel jay gatsby is always faithful to his uh, love for uh, love to uh, daisy class and love class influences all aspect of people they both are uh, rich class people but there is also in partition of this rich richness the old one and the new one and uh, this is the three marriages and uh, also uh, uh, marriage affairs are there that uh, in a previous part uh, drashti twice so that's why i skip it might explain that the married george because she thought he was a gentleman this is also the topic that aristocracy and the american dream of the people uh, martel was martel she was a character of uh, middle class people and she want to uh, she married with uh, with men because she think he was a gentleman but uh, in the final chapter nick calls for tom and daisy carelessness people who shamed up things and let other people clean up the mess they had made this is the uh, uh, final in final chapter nick tells for 
Tom and Daisy for their carelessness uh, and uh, they they very they they very uh, in they are um, become things very bad. Uh, this is the symbol of the novel Gatsby's Gatsby's fortune. Gatsby's fortune symbolizes the rise of organized crime and bootlegging. So why crime and bootlegging in this uh, time? The 18th amendment in 1990. According to this amendment, there is a rule uh, of uh, <coughs> liquor and other things are banned. So that's why. The rich people and middle class people people want to some liquor liquor and alt, alcohol. So that's why massive demand for liquor that is uh, increase that uh, give a very increase to crime and bootlegging. Stock market is also a symbol for this uh, novel. Uh, stock market uh, is uh, represent after the world war. So many people get money from stock market. So, stock market is uh, used for uh, newly rich people. Parties. Parties is uh, symbolized for their uh, lavish life. Uh, parties that gets with every Saturday night resulted ultimately in the corruption of the American dream. And the uncertain desire for money and pleasure passed out. And uh, Gatsby, uh, uh, Gatsby's uh, party is also for he want to find Daisy, and that's why he gives party, and uh, he hope one day Daisy comes and he meet to her. Jazz music. This jazz music is uh, <coughs> reflects jazz age. Uh, during 1920 to 1930, there is a jazz music and jazz dance is very popular, and uh, this reflect the, this age jazz. This was characterized as a period of carefree, anodium, wealth, freedom, and youthfulness, and it reflects in the novel of writer, and such as this F.C. Foz Fitzgerald. Uh, green light, uh, this is the picture of uh, the movie The Great Gatesby 2013, directed by uh, Yuhan Men. And the green light is for something that is unreachable and uh, hope and uh, gets this desire for uh, Daisy and his, his uh, burning desire for uh, some something that he want to uh, that he want to and uh, this is the symbol that is Gatesby uh, this is the symbol of on uh, Gatesby's mentions gate and here are some uh, three lines that is written in Latin uh, this is Latin phrase ad finin filanis that means faithful until the end. That means this and uh, this is also the reflect of J and G that means J gets B. This reflect the character character and characteristic of characteristics of his character. Uh, J gets B was uh, uh, faithful to the end of his novel. He he is very faithful to the uh, days it at the to the end of uh, this uh, novel. That means this is a Latin phrase. The eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg. This is the eyes picture of the eyes of T.J. Eckelberg. Uh, it's also a portrait in the novel and uh, also we can see in the movie. This is, uh, that means the symbolize the eyes of God. The gods are observing the everything that you have done. Some it is uh, shows the decreasing of the people's moral. Gets be float in his pool. Uh, this is also the picture of uh, 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 movie. And uh, at the end of uh, the movie, gets be uh, flo floating in the uh, in his uh, swimming pool. At that time, this. Uh, one person, that means uh, Martha's husband, comes and uh, shoot him and gets be uh, uh, killed by him. And this is the symbol. At the end of this uh, uh, novel, he at the last he is in a rest. He is 
he restored his relationship with daisy to the way was 5 years before in 1970 as now uh, his whole life he can't uh, get uh, daisy but at the end of life this way he uh, is waiting for daisy and this is the also a pic uh, picture of the flower of daisy that also reflect daisy whether the weather in the great gates be unfailingly matches the emotional and narrative tone of the uh, we can see in uh, shakespeare's all every work uh, the work the, <clears throat> the weather is uh, used in a very symbolical way in this whole novel the weather is very used in a symbolical way everything that is happening in this novel and uh, the weather is, is it is very companion with each other this is the some line, lines of original text and this is the uh, other movies that is based on this movie and contains the uh, theme of american dream for further part i would like to call hetal pathak okay hello everyone myself hetal pathak and i am going to deal with the last and remaining part of the presentation so let's start in that the first point is modernism versus realism modernism was a literary and artistic movement that began in the 90s as a response to the rise in the technology and urbanization in the wake of the industrial revolution modernist writers were interested in the individual internal experiences and drew on the theories of the unconscious to find their characters in their lives Uh, so uh, what is modernism that modernism was a literary movement that began in the early 19th century and 20th century modernist writers were interested in the individual and internal experiences and drew on the theories of the unconscious uh, Uh, to mine their characters in us lives so uh, modernist writers main intention that they wanted to bring something new towards the readers uh, what is modernism that modernism means that uh, uh, to break uh, to break out the uh, writing and the way of life traditional uh, writing is broke away and modernist writers uh, wanted to bring something new towards the readers Realism was a literary movement that originated in the mid 19th century. Realism seeks to depict the world and people as they really are. In the uh, plots of realist writers, they often prioritized characters' emotional conflict over dramatic external events. So, realism can be understood that uh, it is also a, a literary movement that originated in the mid 19th century. And uh, what realism uh, do? That it uh, depicts the world and people as they really are. And Jay Gatsby, who is the protagonist of the novel, in that Fitzgerald uh, 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 show, that how his uh, emotional conflict over dramatic external events. Okay, so these are some pictures based on modernism and. realism that we can understand that uh, when gatsby was showing his uh, mention to daisy we, uh, we can uh, see the expression of daisy uh, and uh, here also we can see the expression of daisy that how uh, she was uh, uh, showing all the uh, sympathy how she he, she is showing sympathy towards jay gatsby modernism and realism in the great gatsby now let's understand that how this concept of modernism and realism in our novel the great gatsby fitzgerald is most often remembered as an american modernist in this novel the great gatsby fitzgerald blends the intense symbolism and figurative language of modernism with the social and psychological believability believability of realism so fitzgerald who is the author of this uh, novel he frequently traveled to europe and that is why he influenced to write about the modernist literature 
uh, gatsby has many many modernist elements which are the modernist elements we can find in this novel that one of the most important elements is first person narration in in this novel we can read and understand the entire novel through the perspective of nick kerway who uh, narrates the entire story at the end of the novel nick references the artist e l greco a 16th century painter who has been called the first modernist similarly many of gatsby's descriptions like blue smoke a grotesque rose and shining dust all are poetic distortions of reality Fitzgerald's approach to character is most realist than modernist in that he explores how character function in their social milieu uh, this means a, a person's social environment rather than concentrating entirely on the inner world so uh, this slide is all about that how modernism and realism reflected in our present novel okay uh, so these are some pictures related uh, to the uh, which i mentioned in the earlier slide that the uh, uh, blue smoke a grotesque rose and shining dust but we also have to understand that uh, what it symbolizes so here is one quotation about the blue smoke uh, so when the blue smoke of a brittle leaves was in the air and the wind blew that wet boundary strip on the li line i decided to come back home uh, uh, blue smoke uh, symbolizes the illusion of the american uh, world as we know that many uh, 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 what we can say many generations many younger generations drown towards the american dream but most of uh, are them uh, fail to attempt uh, american dream and that is why this uh, blue smoke uh, symbolizes the illusion of american dream and our protagonist jay gatsby is also one of them then the grotesque rose and this image is about shining dust shining dust in a shining dust symbolizes the old uh, money or we can say old wealth uh, most of the characters in the novel inherit inherited uh, the wealth from uh, inherited the inherited the wealth from their uh, what we can say ancestors except jay gets be because because he uh, he was very poor in his past okay psychoanalytical study of jay gets be and a psychoanalytic attitude to the great gets be by dr meena sanhabdi this is one uh, research article which i uh, found from research gate first of all we have to understand that what is the meaning of psychoanalytical study psychoanalytical theory is the theory of personality organization and the dynamics of personality the de de personality development yes uh, we only have to uh, understand the psychoanalytical uh, concept and psychoanalytical study of our protagonist jay gets be because he was the one who uh, continuously we can see the changing in his characters the great gets be novel is an example of the american dream in which people begin to seek out pleasure and power instead of individualism as we all know that how uh, uh, great gets be was the, uh, continuously through lavish and big parties wealth is easy to come and it is also used as a tool to obtain other desires because he was very healthy and he was not only rich but a richer person uh, from childhood he has a dream to that he wants to become a rich rather than god and that is why wealth was very easy and because he was rich it is very easy for him to obtain his other desires also jay gets be create a situation to obtain wealth and use it as a power to reach towards daisy as she was his first and only love from the childhood he wants to become a rich but when uh, when you will see the movie at that time you will get a better idea 
uh, that uh, when he was at of war uh, daisy received one letter and uh, after reading that letter daisy feels that uh, gatsby will not return anyhow but after uh, a few years back when uh, gatsby uh, met uh, nick and uh, his uh, friend at that time he uh, at that time gatsby wants to meet daisy and he was his only first and love gatsby does everything in his power to get daisy back and amasses a fortune to be used as a tool for getting back daisy's love gatsby also feels closure towards daisy and that is why he wants to be with daisy anyhow gatsby dreamed to be richer he had a dream to have a perfect and happy life with daisy from a psycho uh, psychological perspective gatsby's invented past is more than just a strategy to pass himself off as a member of an upper class in the movie one can notice and understand that no any rules applied to him why because he was a rich person but the reality hits him when there was no one with him in his hard time as rajeshwari ba said that uh, uh, daisy and uh, his husband daisy and her husband tom was not there uh, during the funeral of uh, gatsby so uh, everyone was around gatsby when he threw uh, lavish and big parties but no one was there with him when in his hard times or we can say at the time of his funeral Gatsby's unconscious mind led him towards something he could never have but wanted it so badly he also forced Daisy to break her marriage with Tom by saying that now it is the time to tell Tom that you never loved him so when Daisy and Gatsby met with each other and they uh, began an affair with each other at that time Gatsby continued to uh, tell uh, Daisy that uh, now you should tell uh, your husband Tom that you never loved him so without psychoanalytical criticism of jay gatsby we couldn't uh, understand that how the repression of gatsby's unhappy moments of life actually drives his character so uh, this i personally found this uh, uh, article is very much useful and i have given the link in the citation so you can uh, read that also okay list of other important articles based on this novel uh, the great gatsby and the options word uh, the american dream in fitzgerald the great gatsby a boon or a ban uh, dust and dreams and the great gatsby as now we can understand that the, the entire novel is about the concept of american dream jay gatsby failed intellectual f scott fitzgerald struck for the social satisfaction that uh, jay gatsby uh, he uh, do everything he did everything to feel closer to daisy he also wanted to become rich from his childhood but uh, still we can consider in the end of the novel that he is a failed intellectual and nick's dilemma in the great gatsby okay so these are the references uh, work citations uh, you uh, in these work citations three articles from jestor one is from academia and another one is from research gate so you can read that okay thank you